Neptune. This is Pisces energy. Could have idealized whoever that is. Could have been confused. It could have confused you. You could have made unnecessary sacrifices or people pleased whoever that is. Okay, I enjoy being with you, Hammock. You guys could be on some sort of vacation or vacation together or with someone else. Or this is um, just somebody taking a break physically, mentally. I see this break is very hard for me. So um, this could be a break. Somebody could sleep on a hammock. Okay, I enjoy being with you. I feel like someone's on a break. Nine of coins. So y'all could be single right now. Nine of pentacles. You're opposite of this karmic energy that we've been discussing today. You're um, self-sufficient. It may have taken you a long time or a while to become... Um, have uh, taken you a while to develop yourself because I see a snail here so this is somebody that's had to work for this over the long haul single self-sufficient abundant enjoying luxury the finer things in life can can stand on their own two feet doesn't need help from other people you're open to that, but you don't you don't need there's no f dependency here. Enjoy being with you. You could own your own home. Okay, and able to pay for that on your own. King of Pentacles, reverse, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, lots of earth energy coming out today. Enjoy being with you. Oh, Queen of Wands reverse, okay. So here's more karmic energies. You guys could have, not could have, there's people here. There's, it looks like there's two people, two or more people here envious of you or jealous of you. There's a masculine energy here or man that doesn't look very solid. They don't look very stable. Maybe unreliable. There could have been some type of cheating. Could be immature. There's no growth with whoever this is. Or maybe this was just in the past. I feel like this Queen of Wands reversed could be jealous of somebody. Whoever has developed, mastered themselves, that's maturing. There, there's growth in their life. They're in this Jupiter energy. They've got blessings, good fortune. Or they're investing into themselves. They have good, um, good luck. I feel like whoever this is, they're so frustrated and angry about what you have or you've created or something about you. They, they're real angry about and jealous of. Whoever this is. They, f they feel very powerless and frustrated about something. Whoever this is could be a drama queen. I feel like whoever this feminine energy is or this woman, I feel like she wanted this masculine's money. But this masculine is not going to do that or they're no longer going to do that. Because maybe this is you, masculine. This is somebody's in this nine of coins energy. This could be just you separating yourself financially from whoever this is, and this person's mad now. With this King of Pentacles reverse, this is somebody that's holding back financially. They're not giving. They don't want to give. They don't want to um, provide. They don't want to serve. They don't want to be loyal. Show me this king of pent. Let's get more details. King of pentacles reversed. I just feel like there's a jealous bitch here. King of coins reversed. Could have been, this could have just been a temporary financial misfortune in the past. Third chakra, Archangel Shamiel, and then show me this Queen of Wands reverse. 
So masculine, this was all about whoever this karmic is, they need to heal, or this was somebody in the past. You guys were like this in the past. Could be 37 years old, 34 years old. So for the masculine energy, so you guys are working on the third chakra. Emotions, emotions of desire, life force energy, your guys' strength, your guys' personal power, your willpower, your drive, stanima. This is the solar plexus. The issues here revolve around emotions of desire and your personal energy. Maybe you weren't able to stand up for yourself. This is somebody dealing with some type of insecurities, I feel. There's some type of increased enthusiasm here present or there soon will be. This is a great time to move forward and toward the completion of your desires. Maybe you have a desire to be in this Nine of Pentacles to be able to, maybe you're planning for retirement. Um, this is somebody, you could be planning on um, working on becoming financially independent or financially independent from whoever this selfish karmic person is that's trying to get you to work against yourself and force you against your free will to do what they want you to do they're focused on their own personal selfish desires and their own vision i feel like you guys have two separate visions there could be other people involved but this is what i see so far coming out a king of pentacles reversed and queen of wands reversed whoever that is i feel like you're trying to become separate from or you are separate from you're trying to do your own thing financially and you're trying to grow separately whoever that Queen of Wands reverses, they need to go, they need to stop focusing so much on you because this queen is reversed and she's looking towards the left, towards this King of Pentacles. And this King of Pentacles, he's thinking, I need to get my money right. I need to, I need to get stable. I need to get grounded. I need to be able to have money and be able to have a cushion, a comfort zone so I can take vacation, so I can be rested physically, mentally. This Queen of Wands reverse, she's so focused on this masculine and their money, what they have to offer, provide. But I feel like this Queen of Wands reverse, she's looking away from the fact she needs to step forward and move in a different direction. And she needs to open up this door to her own personal healing and happiness. We'll get to that in a second. She needs to go heal and find some type of self-worth, self-confidence. Um, could be lazy or unmotivated, depressed, uninspired, and maybe needs to find out why. This person needs a soul search, I feel like. Um, but for the masculine energy, y'all are focused on maybe taking some type of action too. You guys are ready to um, move toward your desires so your life force is vibrating with power and resonance and your soul is calling you to direct that energy in a focused, purposeful manner. So y'all could be focused on your purpose or trying to find your purpose or calling or something to do with your guys' work, career. This is something, because um, the sixth house is there. So maybe this is something with your job, career, serving, service, duty, maybe your health, hygiene, diet, fitness, your body, full-time jobs, careers. That's what I feel like the masculines are focused on. Self-mastery, you guys could be working on becoming, you could be self-employed or working on becoming self-employed. Entrepreneur, I feel like this is somebody that wants to be in a commitment, but Finances may be the issue, self-value, self-worth issues. And let's see for a distorted karmic feminine energy. Is a door to personal healing and happiness. So this karmic feminine, needs, like I said, needs to stop focusing so much on this masculine whoever else. And stop hating and being jealous of whoever is in this nine of coins energy whoever is um self-sufficient or they have abundant luxury in their life 
they could be jealous about something to do with maybe you take vaca uh, vacations or something I don't know nine of coins this is somebody that typically can afford to do something like that though because that's what I see here in the card is taking vacations um, she or he queen of wands reverse I'm gonna say she fuck all that she needs to go focus on if this is a, this could be a man that's more of a feminine energy she needs to go focus on some type of new beginning in her personal life there's there is opportunity for positive changes but whoever this is is so focused on whoever else whoever else is involved but definitely a masculine in their money this feminine energy is maybe not <clears throat> excuse me maybe doesn't understand or doesn't have the knowledge or not enlightened they don't look like they're spiritually enlightened they could reject everything spiritual okay or be a spiritual hater i feel like they feel like this masculine is their whole outlet or their whole world their whole um source of stability and practicality security but that's really not with the north node in taurus that's that's what the collective that's the whole goal is to be is financial financial independence so whoever this is needs to work on inner healing they could be having they could have addictions maybe they need to work on breaking addictions then maybe this could be an external change maybe finding a new place to live maybe this is somebody i did see somebody getting ready to lose their foundation um, and needing to move or relocate or find a new job something like that external changes new place to live um, there are new opportunities here for this person but they need to go focus more on themselves learn to this person does, doesn't even respect or care for themselves i feel like Whoever this has um, really, 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 really a lot of self-esteem issues. They're struggling with their own personal power. Could be afraid of rejection. Okay. Um, give me a card here. Nine of coins. Consolation. So... You guys could be, there could be some type of praying, consoling with God or higher power. Whoever, somebody's in this nine of coins energy. I don't feel like it's these two energies or these two people, two or more people. I feel like whoever's in this nine of coins energy is very connected to God, high honor, and they have a good relationship with God or source. This is why they're able, their mentality is different. They're, this is why they've accumulated this wealth or whatever lifestyle this is, or they've worked hard, they've put in the work. I see, I just, I see jealous energies here. Envious, jealous, very focused on whoever this is in the nine of coins. This could be a divine person, divine feminine or divine masculine. Maybe they're jealous of a divine masculine, divine fan. That's what it feels like to me. Let's carry forward. <clears throat> 